Hey, is this Jake Ward? Yes. Hey, can you hear me, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am great. Uh, thank you for checking in for the big show, man. We're looking forward to seeing you in concert Friday night here uh, in, uh, well, Southwest Texas. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm excited to do it. Thanks for having me on. Well, I tell you what. Um, well, let's just talk about this now. Uh, Jake Ward here on the phone with me right now, getting ready to play uh, Friday night over at the International Center for Trade in Eagle Pass with the uh, Josh Abbott Band. Real exciting show. Tickets are on sale here locally at Siesta Tires. Now, Jake, you're kind of a new name to me, but apparently you've got a resume man like three number one texas radio songs yeah says here in your bio you're from corpus christi texas where'd you get your start in country music man well uh i've been playing music pretty much my whole life uh you know i had bands in high school and in college i started writing uh more and more and i put a song out um and it started getting played locally and uh it kind of just you know took a life of its own. I, I, I actually didn't have a band together when I had my first uh, single out on the radio, so I had to get a band together and <laughs> just started playing out, and that was about three and a half years ago now. We've just been playing and ever since, man. I've, we've never been down Eagle Pass, and I'm, I'm really excited to kind of meet some new people and make some new friends. Well, I'll tell you this, man. Uh, you got a really cool sound. Where Do you have any influences you like to cite, or, you know, um, music you, you were raised on, grew up on, or really admire? Yeah, I was raised pretty much on a... a a pretty big, diverse uh, group of music. Uh, my dad was a huge Beach Boys fan, oh. growing up on the beach, obviously, and uh, a huge Elvis fan. So um, I, I listened to that pretty much all my life until um, when I was in high school, I heard Randy Rogers for the first time. And that, so he's kind of been my biggest influence on writing and, you know, just what I want my music to say to people. And, um, but man, I, I I listened to a lot a lot of Elvis growing up, a lot of Johnny Cash too. So <laughs> those are probably my three main guys. Well, your stuff is great, man. We uh, we're looking forward to seeing you live. I have not seen you live yet, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you bring. How about the band you're on tour with now? Is this a, is this kind of your set, guys? You got a good group that's been with you for a little bit now. Yeah, we've uh, we've I've actually had the same band since the very beginning, man. Uh, we've been together through it all. We've through all the pain and all the fun, you know. So I I, I love the guys. We uh, we're all best friends and. We all just like to kind of get up and have as much fun as we can uh, whenever we play. Cause I, I feel like that's what people, when they're you know paying their good hard work, earn money to come see you, that's what they want to see. Have fun, and that makes them have fun. So that's what we really try to do when we're playing. Now, when you got these guys assembled, were you guys already friends? Uh, did you kind of meet through connections? Did you put out a one ad? How how did you actually get the the group together? The Avengers assemble. Yeah. Um, started with me and my guitar player. We've known each other for a really long time, and about. Six years ago, I kind of cornered him at his work and told him I'm starting a band and I'm doing a battle of the bands in two weeks and I, I need a guitar player. So uh, he joined the band then and we, we did the battle of bands and uh, we lost, of course, because we only had two weeks to prepare. But <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and ever since then, you know, it kind of just was mutual friends and uh, a couple guys, uh, our drummer I met through uh, a Cra Craigslist app. <laughs> which wow. Was, but yeah, we've been together forever, man, and we just. You know, we've all just kind of grown into best friends. It's, it's hard not to, you either start to love each other, or you start to hate each other when you're stuck in a van for five hours every day, <laughs> traveling on the road. <laughs> now, you've got a brand new CD. It's called uh, Not Too Far to Reach. On the songwriting, is this kind of something you spearhead, or is it like more of a band process? Uh, I do the songwriting. Um, I actually go to Nashville about once a month, and I write uh, with songwriters up there. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that, that's something that I, I really like to do. I, I, tried, I, wrote, I was a co-writer on all the songs on the album, and on my first album, I wrote all the songs myself. It's something that I usually write the song, and I'll kind of have the melody and the lyrics and everything, and then I'll bring it to the band, and we'll work it up and kind of turn it into what it becomes on stage. You know, interesting because you mentioned uh, kind of co-writing with the Nashville people. That's kind of one of the distinct uh, differences between, you know, the Nashville music machine, as they say, and then your Texas country, which you're obviously firmly based in. What is the difference, you know, between the country music, the red dirt scene, what we've got going on here versus that Nashville machine that, that works very well? We love it, what, the, what they put out there. But I think there are clear differences. What's your take on that? Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's different. It, it, down here, there's a lot more guys just writing for the love of it, I think, and they, you know, because in Nashville, when you're a songwriter, there's tons of songwriters up there, and there's, the way the music industry is right now, there's not that much money to go around for a songwriter, so everyone wants to write that number one hit, which, I mean, everyone does all the time, mm -hmm. including me, but, you know, when I was first starting writing down here, I, I got the advice of a lot of guys, and they just said, you know, write what you love, and write, write what 
you want to hear because what you want to hear is what people are going to want to hear, especially if you're singing it. And it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more of a businessy up there, if that makes any sense. Sure, because yeah. it's, I mean, that's people's livelihood, just writing songs. And it's hard when you're not a singer or an artist. You just got to write these songs and hope people will take it and, and record it and release it. It's, it's a hard process up there. Those, those, those writers up there, they work, they work their butts off all the time. It's crazy. Well, man, it's really cool of you to check in. Again, we're talking to Jake Ward. He's going to be in concert this Friday night, Eagle Pass International Center for Trade, opening up for the amazing Josh Abbott Band. Uh, have, you, have you opened up for those guys before? No, I have never opened up for him before. I've met him multiple times. So this is actually my, my, our first time actually playing together. And uh, I'm excited, man. He, was, uh, he is one of my absolute favorite artists in the scene. He's always been incredibly nice to me. It, uh, we're just really, really excited, man. He he puts on such a great show, especially with his new his new album. They, they they put on a great show. It's seriously awesome. We're obviously really excited about both sets. So uh, thank you so much for checking in. Where can we find you online, social media, all that good stuff? Yeah, uh, JakeWardMusic dot com. That's got links to all my you know Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, all that fun stuff. That's the best place to go. All right, man. Once again, it's Jake Ward from Corpus Christi going to play this Friday night at the International Center for Trade down in Eagle Pass. Let's go ahead and play one off his brand new CD. Uh, the album's called Not Too Far to Reach. This is 104.9 Coyote Country. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello? Hey, is this Jake Ward? Yes. 